So thanks you all so much for joining us today for our Rethink Fit Travel Spotlight Series presentation. I'm Lisa Meller, I'm your host for today. I'm also co-founder and chief events director for Rethink Fit Travel. And today you are in for a treat. If you love looking, feeling and living and traveling well, then today you'll wanna stay tuned because I am with Kira Oliver and Katrina Whipple, both of the Calaviz Health Spa, and we're here to talk about their approach to wellness programs and let's learn why they've been voted the number one destination health spot by travel and leisure. And for those of you who don't already know about Rethink Fit Travel, we're a full service travel and events team that's dedicated to tourism, wellness tourism around the globe. At Rethink Fit Travel, we are rethinking how to approach what it means to be well today and how to influence travel decisions because we know that being well goes beyond just being physically fit. It's about being mentally, spiritually, socially, and physically healthy. It goes beyond just self-care because wellness today is a whole health approach and it's about being in balance with yourself and with nature and with the communities that we touch. So our hope is that you're gonna gain some new insights today, fall in love with Calavi and head out there for a transformative travel experience. So let's talk a little bit about Calavi Health Spot. Why is it such an award-winning gem? Well, first of all, it is absolutely a haven of help. It's tucked in the sunny hills between Los Angeles and San Diego County. And I'm personally excited about it because it's only about 45 minutes from my backyard. So let's get right in and we're gonna meet our special guest today. So. Kira Oliver is the Director of Marketing at Calavi. She's owned her own award-winning marketing and branding boutique agency and has worked in the hospitality industry for many years. In addition, she's got special expertise in fitness and wellness. She not only helps ensure that the experience at Calavi is absolutely the best in the world, but she plans and organizes some of the health and wellness programs on property to include the fitness classes, mind-body classes. She's also a motivational speaker and she performs workshops and she's a coach. This is a much needed service to meet the demands today of health and wellness travelers and groups. And also with us is Katrina Whipple. She's a director of sales at Calavi, born and raised in San Diego. She grew up with a love for travel and outdoor sports. So this is a real natural for her. She's a sales professional with over 15 years of experience in the hospitality industry. And a huge part of her experience comes from working at Four Seasons AVR a resort formerly located in Carlsbad, California, and she's worked with groups such as Lexus, Merrill Lynch, and YPO groups and more right there at Calavi. So I wanna thank you both for coming on and sharing with this time with us today. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Super excited. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're loving it because, you know, wellness is such a way of life and we're seeing such demand that's, that's really growing. And so let's talk about some of the trends. This is actually one of the photos from uh, from your site and I love this labyrinth. It's absolutely outstanding. And what's cool about this backdrop is that it kind of represents um, the, the way that the globe is continuing to expand and proliferate with wellness. The Global Wellness Institute estimates that the wellness economy is what, four and a half trillion dollars? Amazing. And growing at double the rate of just about any other economic sector right now. And that mental wellness is a $120 billion industry on its own and it's really, driving business. It's driving yeah. the way that we think. Did you yeah. guys find too that even with COVID, um, you know, wellness was already a trend that was accelerating. We already saw it happening, but that COVID just accelerated it. Would, would you agree with that? It's, it's amazing what is happening right now. Everyone is coming to us and they're, they're literally saying, I need a reset, mm -hmm. not just physically. They're like, I need a mental mm -hmm. and physical reset. And what's even more interesting is that they are doing more meditation, which the labyrinth provides, obviously. They are asking for more of that. And we also have a lot of guests that are going well beyond the uh, typical three and four night or seven night stays. Some guests coming here for extended periods of time because they're desperate for that reset. 100%. I've seen that too. The trends have really switched from those quick, you know, two, three, four nights, you know, stays. People are saying seven, 10, and even 30 days when yeah. they're seeking a mental, um, a, a mental health and a physical transformation uh, experience. It's really, it's really quite cool to see that. Yeah, it's beautiful. And 
Yeah, and if you guys can share with us, you know, why do you think as we look out here on the property and from this beautiful backdrop that you've you know, chosen for us today, what do you think makes Cala V so unique of all the wellness properties that there are out there? Uh, well, uh, I'm going to start, but I want your help on this, sure. uh, Katrina. So mm -hmm. we are nestled um, in, we have about 400 acres. So we're, you know, between, as you mentioned, uh, San Diego and LA. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice little, you know, we're just like this little hidden gem out here. And it's so private, so exclusive. We only have 30, is it 32 rooms, 32. I believe? Mm -hmm. 32 rooms. Now, that doesn't mean we can't have more than 32 guests if we have two people that want to share a room. They certainly can do that. But I believe it's, we don't really have twin beds, you know, so yeah. that's going to be couples Mostly. on co-ed or something like exactly. that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, you know, yes, we are award winning um, in the, the health and wellness. We're so proud of that and honored and we really strive to maintain that. And uh, what else can we do? Yeah, I just think that our, our comprehensive programming that includes, you know, fitness, nutrition, uh, the spa services. So we have uh, dietitians on staff, we have an executive chef, uh, we have spa therapists. So we really kind of customize your experience. And I think that's what makes us super special for our guests. Yeah, totally. I mean, you can come in and be very specific about what you need, or maybe you don't know, and you want to meet with Little someone. Guidance. Yeah, mm -hmm. and get some guidance and kind of figure that out. Mm -hmm. I think it's outstanding. And the fact that it's intimate, it's not like you're going to get lost on property. So you're probably there and <laughs> really establishing relationship. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so let's yeah. take a little bit of a walk around the property. And as we do this, you know, share with us where we're at and, and what that's like. So what is this first image? Well, this is one of the first things that you're going to experience when you get on the property. You don't see it in that photo, but there is a beautiful bridge. It's just charming. And you walk across this bridge, and that's kind of your entrance to Calavi. And then those are the uh, stairs right into registration. The What do we call this, basically? Uh, the guest service or front desk, desk area? Yeah, mm -hmm. front desk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I and love we, the idea though of the that setting the stage with the bridge. It's almost like a bridge to your former self and your new you as you're really walking, you know, through this and and expecting to kind of transcend. So I, I see some visuals there, <laughs> and yeah. I do remember from my walk on property how absolutely stunning that was, and that you know Ivanka and I were literally just drooling, just like you know when when can we come back? <laughs> yeah, so, and <laughs> really amazing. Yeah, but even, you know, from that moment and everywhere you walk and into that front uh, desk area, I have a favorite chair in there. I'm like, that is just the size for me. I, I always <laughs> yeah. go sit in that chair. Like, it's just beautiful. It's, oh, that's great. And I see we've got one of the pools that you're standing in, in front of today. And, and it's, it looks like you will offer a lot of um, pool activity, both for fitness and for relaxation. We do. Um, we will do massages and things like that up by the pool if someone requests it at certain hours of the day. This pool, um, the one that you're seeing on the left side of the screen uh, with the cabanas in the background, and of course you could have a private cabana area, but that is a 50 meter pool. Those are hard to find. And so when yeah. we have athletes that come here, they're practically drooling for this pool. I'm an athlete. I love this pool. It's so beautiful but we do all kinds of activities up yes. there i mean on the fit, fit boards you know we do yoga on these boards up there we're doing aqua jogging cardio all kinds of activities in that pool as well as the other pool yeah absolutely i think the the other pool on the other side is a little bit more for lounging our guest rooms kind of go in a u-shape around this pool so a lot of guests utilize that for lounging and sunbathing um but yeah they're both beautiful yeah we'll do classes down there as well that pool is also a lot warmer and some people want it to be very warm the other pool is still a heated pool but a little less because it's usually we're doing much um you know uh, more activities in that that might get your heart rate up but the the other pool on the right side there uh yeah we do even a volleyball if it's requested in that pool mm -hmm. and sometimes we'll even have pool parties yeah yeah cocktail receptions uh, mm -hmm. sounds that sounds outstanding and, and it's true i mean i actually i'm a i'm a coach at the mission viejo natadores pool for diving and oh, so wow. right now we've got athletes that are right at the olympic trials and and whatnot and so it's really nice you know for people that are training on an ongoing basis and masters athletics has really taken a skyrocket um, yes. in the last you know even just couple of years and so i would i would be thrilled to be able to continue my training and my my regimen in the mornings or or whenever and yeah. know that i could do that while i'm staying on site you know i don't have to sacrifice that 
That's yeah, really absolutely. Awesome. Whenever athletes come on site, I usually try to connect with them because I am, um, uh, I've done a few full Ironman races and I do some ultras and I get that. Like we're, we're the type that's difficult to go anywhere because if we can't train, we're like, I can't do it. Yeah. But here you can, you can. train. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I do want to make sure I'm clear that we don't have that many of those athletes that have come here. Yeah. I don't want people to feel like, oh, that's only for athletes. Absolutely not. Most mm -hmm. people are not that, but we just want everybody to know that we can help anyone. Which is which is great. It's just staying active. And, and even so, even what I've seen at, I would say, um, non-traditional wellness resorts that are not classified that way, but are resorts with a wellness component, fitness centers and the spots have become an absolute must. And I even have corporate groups with Mellow Performance Events Group that come in looking to make sure that there are fitness facilities. So it's really it's really great that you're able to address that. But then besides that, you've got these beautiful grounds too. So connecting to nature is another great thing. And you know, and here, you know, here we're seeing how you've got, you know, a campus style where you know some things are dotted among the hills. So what are we seeing here? Uh, yeah, that one there, that's our 400-year-old chapel. It's actually uh, imported from Dijon, France. Um, they had it imported stone by stone and then positioned on the site that it is today. Um, we do wedding ceremonies in this uh, um, building. We also do beautiful evening dinner receptions here. Um, it's really gorgeous. We also do some meditation and some yoga in the chapel as well. We also call it our meditation center. Um, the building, to stay true to the structure, uh, does not have any electricity, so it's all lit by candlelight. So when you are doing um, something like a formal dinner, it is just just top notch. It is exceptional. Probably one of the most special things you could do here at Calvi. Yeah, I'm always encouraging our guests to just go by themselves and sit in that space, right? And do their own meditation and think about what is it that you want, you know, out of Calabi. Yes. And then when you leave and use that space to help you feel that and truly experience it. So it's just beautiful yes. for meditation or whatever. And then we did have um, a group that was up here, believe it or not, how many yoga? Oh, the, the, uh, 30 or just 40? about 30. Mm -hmm. We were able to fit, I think, 30 people doing yoga in that space. Now, this was pre-COVID, yeah. uh, so just to be clear about that, but um, we literally lined that. It was beautiful. Yes. Everything was set up just perfectly, and uh, I think they did that every day they were here. Yeah, and they did some breath work in, the, in there, and they had an instructor leading the team, so it was, it was very cool to watch. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, it, those transformative spaces, I mean, environment is so critical to what your mental state will be. And so having something that's tranquil, having a place that's, you know, really feels present, right, is, um, it, you know, is, is really the way to go. So that's outstanding. I actually didn't realize that you hold um, yoga classes up in there, too. So that's that's pretty cool. That's a, one yeah, thing I, I, on my list. We do have to ask our engineering team to move the pews, <laughs> and they're not always so excited. No, it does take work, but that, you know, I'm glad that you brought that up because that is part of what we do team. here. It does take a team mm -hmm. and there's so many moving parts and we are able to do that seamlessly. We, we don't want the guests to even see that happen. And it's kind of, it's just magical. Yeah. Somehow it just happens behind the scenes. It's like the little mice ran around and made it all happen. And it's, you know, it's just perfectly <laughs> <so bad. laughs> yeah. Amazing. All right. And this one is, I know this is the great room, and I remember just really falling in love with this space. So tell us a little bit about that one. Yeah, that room is um, designed uh, basically for anyone at any time. You can go down there and just sit on your own, or it can be groups. We've sometimes had like a buyout here, a, a full on group where they wanted to use that space for a special event of some sort. Mm -hmm. It can do a lot of different things. And we also do hold our nutrition lectures down there often. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We um, we do nutrition lectures. We can do demonstrations as well down there. Um, but as she was mentioning about the group, they actually moved out all the furniture and then hosted a formal sit down dinner. And there was florals galore just everywhere, just dripping from the room. It was just just gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah, so we can transform well, the, the space. property already. You know, the property already has such oh that French country tranquil peaceful design to it that it already it just has charm oozing everywhere which you know we're going to see especially in um you know some of the upcoming photos right but even the dining being able to be either indoor or outdoor and having so many alfresco settings this is i, I thought was a, a something also extra special 
Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. Again, we just, you know, we love the idea of having options. We want everyone to just feel like wherever they are, it is, it is very special. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Guests can do indoor or outdoor dining. We have set times for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so that is part of the regimented schedule that we have. And then if guests want to do private dining at any one of the other uh, options that we have, indoor or outdoor, they can. So again, yeah, there's options and um, we're willing to accommodate. I love it. I love it. And, and speaking of accommodations and accommodating, yeah. you know, talk about the room product because uh, I know that there's, you know, there's only 32 rooms or so on property, but each one of them is just so beautifully appointed. So what can you tell yeah. us about the rooms? Well, Katrina, I'm going to let you help me with this, sure. but the rooms are absolutely beautiful, but we do have, I think, some suites and I, I might need your help digging into that a little bit because yeah. uh, we have a few specialty rooms as well. All, again, all of them are very special. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we have 25 of our standard uh, guest rooms and then seven of our suites. Uh, the guest rooms are about 400 square feet or so, and then the suites are about 600 to 700, um, just about. Uh, they all will come with king size beds and they all have their private sun deck or balcony. Um, they're truly gorgeous. The, the bathrooms are probably my favorite part. Um, they're set with tavertine tiles, some that have the glass enclosed um, shower with tub and some that have seven separate um, showers, glass and closed showers with a, a separate tub. Um, they're just beautiful. They're pretty much set main around, uh, mostly around the main spa, but we also do have some across the bridge closer to the fitness center um, for, for ease of guests uh, to get to and from locations. That sounds, sounds outstanding. Well, was, you know, we talked just a little bit too about some of the various types of programs that you offer and there's such a, a an array and you know of course when a visitor comes to the web, website and they see you know there's fitness culinary nutrition mind body spa beauty medical services golf and tennis oh my gosh um how does a guest even pick <laughs> from all of these options what was your question i'm sorry sorry oh sorry how does a guest even pick from all those options is that um, part of that intake that form process yeah so there is a process a lot of our guests will call in advance or you know again they go on the website and they see all these things but when they do arrive we do we have a scheduled time with them where they we sit down and just talk about what is it that you do what do you love what do you what do you not like you know mm -hmm. we want to know that too because we do we create their schedules every single day and we do that based on their preferences Sometimes there might be something they've never tried before and we're like, yeah, you know, give it a shot, try that. But we mm -hmm. will definitely create their schedule. They can go to that class. If they decide that they don't want to, they could uh, switch that up a little bit. Uh, we try to just be as unique as we can. Sometimes they might ask for something uh, special like, oh, I'd really love Tai Chi this week. And we try to provide that if we can. Uh, if we need to have someone from off the property come on that specializes in something, we, we are willing to try to make that happen as well. We just truly try to provide whatever they want. And that includes the spa treatments as well, in the after, which are mostly done in the afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. So they, they do meet with the scheduling coordinator, have that interview, talk about their goals, what they like, what they don't like, and then just something to know. You can do as much as you want or as little, little. as you want. <laughs> so sometimes guests are like, well, I can't do all these classes at once and I don't want to do all that fitness. Sometimes you don't have to and you can just come here and just relax and, and just enjoy the scenery. Yeah, but we do try to design it in, in a way that that is what we would recommend so you know I'm a, I'm a personal trainer as well and i'm going to think about what is right for this person based on their goals and what they're okay. trying to achieve mm -hmm. and so it might be if they love cardio okay you might do boot camp um but maybe trx is something that would be really good for you you know it just really depends and uh, and, and throw in a little yoga or stretch we really try to space it out and think of a good program while they're here but like Katrina said, if they're like, I'm good with one hour of something, I'm going to go on the hike and then breakfast and, and that's it. That's okay too. We want everyone to get what they're looking for when they are here. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think the idea though of introducing them to a few things that they may not have tried before with a little bit of guidance may just open up a whole new world of possibilities for them for things to try and to keep into their practice once they get home. You know, Absolutely. so it's like a little bit of a helping hand to say we can help you transform your way of life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about some of those various programs. So, you know, Kiri, with you, with you being a personal trainer and, and having such a great background in this, maybe tell us a little bit about some of the fitness programs, the physical fitness aspect of yeah. it. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, what you're looking at here is um, yoga and some um, breath work. Or actually, I believe that is some cardio machines. Mm -hmm. So we do different things. Again, if you're looking for a full-on hardcore cardio program, you're an athlete, we can certainly do that. And I mean, that's anything from spin to, uh, again, you could take those morning hikes. We have a tread and shed if you're like, ah, I want to get some cardio going on and I want to do some sprinting on a treadmill. You can also run around the property. So we kind of open that up and there's a lot of flexibility there. We also include strength work. So I strongly recommend that people build your muscles, you know, and so we have different ways of doing that depending on, again, what you're looking for, a style that might work uh, better for you. I mentioned TRX before. TRX can be as hard as you want it, but it can also be a great way for someone to get into strength training because they're able to hold on to these straps and it gives them a little more stability and confidence. Mm -hmm. So we try to help build that confidence in whatever way we can. And then again, encouraging if so, some people come here and they're like, I really want meditation, yoga, full mind, more mind body, then we will definitely, there you go. There's that's the photo I was looking for. That is a Kundalini experience, which is some breath work where you're breathing in and out kind of fast. And then there you see the, the hiking shot. Hiking actually is a great form of meditation as well. So we try to encourage and inspire where, you know, what's going to be best for you in the space that you're in right now and today and where you're looking to go. And we really try to listen to that and then adapt that program accordingly. But one of the things we are working on right now is going back to the trends that we were talking about. We're really wanting to create um, a little more intention with that mind-body reset that everyone is needing right now. We hear that, you know, we hear you, you know, so we are working on that. We're hoping to launch that in the next couple of weeks. I'm working with all the departments right now. And, um, you know, it's just going to be a little bit added attention to that space. Well, we'll have to really keep that. I, I can't wait to find out more about that, too. And, you know, I actually have met one of the one of the folks who has been an instructor at Calavi for the breathwork classes. And I've been taking some breathwork um, from him myself. That's Ed Harold. And what's really cool about it is that, you know, this really transcends that mind body connection. And you can't think of things anymore in silos. Right. Like everything comes together. And that's that whole health approach. So I think the important thing to consider is that it's not just that you come in and you select one track of the programs, it's everything. And together there's such an amazing synergy to how you feel, look, act, and you know, and, and move about the earth. So it's it's mm -hmm. exciting. We'll, well you talk know, about that. And next I'm sorry. Thing is, oh, go ahead. No, I wanted right. to mention something that. that I think people might connect with. So did you guys just see the, and I'm not a golfer, but Phil Mik Mickelson recently with his win? Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you're familiar with that. see it. But, and we do have a golf course here, by the way, yeah. but he is one of the you know uh, biggest golfers out there. And one of the things that got him through that and to that win, big, big win, was his meditation and breath work. Mm. So everybody's talking, you can Google it. And I am so excited that we've got somebody that big out there talking about the power of that. It's more and more prevalent, even just uh, hearing some of the feedback from the the swimmers and divers that are on our team who attended Olympic trials, the ones that are really elevating to the top are the ones that really focused on where they were mentally and, and in their breath work. And it's something that I've even incorporated into my coaching style with even just some of the, some of the youth, because they're not realizing they're holding their breath they're holding so much tension. So it's, it's really, it's really amazing. And, and what's nice about it is that resorts and, and properties like yours are in actively incorporating that into programming so that it can become part of mainstream, which is you know something that's so needed. So let's move on and talk a little bit about nutrition because I think you also you know mentioned that the meals are included and I know there are tons of different dietary requirements, you know, and lifestyle choices that people have. We've been seeing these trends grow from years, um, but but what are some of the programs and the ways that Calavi is addressing diet and nutrition these days? Yeah, it's um. Again, at that interview with the, the scheduling team, we, they asked those questions. What are you looking for? Are you, and so some people come here and say, oh, I really wanna lose weight or I need help with the mind body, these different types of things going on. And we actually determine with you know, their information and our appropriate guidelines, the calories that they're gonna consume for the day. Now, having said that, if they change their mind, it's totally fine too. If they sit down and they have dinner and they're like, oh, I want a little more, they can actually request more. We're not <laughs> yeah. like, no, yeah. no, no. But we do try to 
you know, we want to provide what, what they have Came asked here for. for. Yeah. yeah. So we will yeah. talk about calorie, yeah. calories for them. And here's our recommendations on that based on your goals. If somebody is vegan, yeah. if they're, if they're vegan, gluten-free, pescatarian, all um, that, uh, paleo, um, all of it, we, we can accommodate. And yeah, we ask about their dietary restrictions, but also, of course, if they have any allergies, we want to make sure that yes. we have that information up front. It goes in a, a big, beautiful uh, LED screen in the back of the kitchen. And the, the chefs are just, in, I mean, impeccable with how they can just curate each specialty dish. And sometimes they'll have multiple, you know, they have vegan, vegetarian, chicken, just on the grill because they have to accommodate so many different styles of, of um, diets. Yeah, it's amazing. And, and thinking about, you know, even as we move to this next slide um, with some of the classes of demonstration and cooking, you know, I can imagine too, some people may also be even coming and not understanding some basic, you know, uh, nutritional principles as well. And I'm sure that you offer some education or one-on-one -on -one consultation with nutrition consultants. If someone's fighting inflammation, don't know why they're in pain, say, hey, you know what, maybe we should take a look at what's really going on at your gut health, you know, as well. So uh, is that, you know, those, those programs are, are you seeing a lot of traction with those as well? Oh yeah, it's it's huge. And we're even, again, starting to lean into learning what foods are great for the brain because people are really, you know, struggling with that positivity right now. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm not, you know, there is this term out there, toxic positivity. We're not talking about that. That's people trying to fake themselves out pretty much. We're talking about people having that term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People having awareness, you know, but then trying to um, do do techniques, use techniques to help you lead a more joyful life. And so that can be everything from the food you eat to the activities you do. And then obviously incorporating the way you think about things and having that awareness. So our nutritionists, they will talk about those types of things. They'll talk about foods for inflammation, how to reduce that. Like you said, gut health, they'll teach you all of those things. And it, it's pretty amazing what you can learn if you just you know, sit in, in one of those talks. Yeah, there's there's such a wealth of knowledge out there and um, and people dismiss some of these things all too easily and don't realize just how impactful that can be for just your your mind body balance all day long and mm -hmm. for longevity for life. So that's you know really where we're headed. But you know, great to have those classes. And so you mentioned golf, and I know that there are lots of great, you know, activities on property. So what are we seeing in this uh, in this other photo by the mill? Yeah, so we also have our, our sister property, Vista Valley Country Club, which is right next door to us, and they have the full 18-hole championship golf course. So a lot of our guests will uh, get shuttled over next door and then participate in some golf. Uh, they have a driving range, they have putting greens, they do clinics, they do tournaments, uh, they do special club fittings, um, so they really can do it all there. Um, and then we also have... Um, as pictured, the two pickleball courts, which were just recently brand uh, new, yeah, just put into place uh, just earlier this spring. Uh, and then, in addition to that, just next door to those pickleball courts, we actually have two clay tennis courts as well. Um, so, lots of fun gaming activities for guests to partake in. Uh, we have horseshoes, we have shuffleboard, we have sand volleyball. As Kira mentioned earlier, we can do pool volleyball. Um, so, the activities really can be endless. <laughs> Yeah, there's no reason to be bored. You know, no, if you're bored, you're in the wrong spot. You ha you're not trying. That's what you know, <laughs> That makes me think about one of the activities that you can speak more to as well. But this group that came here and they focused on the uh, Wim Hof method. It was the same group that was doing the yoga in the chapel. And they focused on the Wim Hof method. And so a large pool was uh, brought in and it was all about that cold water, cold, cold water therapy, right? Yeah, the cold water submergent to get mind over body kind of thing. So uh, it was really actually cool to see, but they started with the breath work and, so that they can kind of clear their mind and get focused and then went into the, the ice bath plunge. And um, yeah, you, you really saw some uh, transformative experiences in the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm thinking about that. I'm actually headed white water rafting this weekend and I'm actually thinking oh that gosh. I don't want to fall in the drink you know, <laughs> because it is it's like <laughs> but they you know it's supposed to boost, boost your immune system and there's so many great benefits so many to great that benefits, but, really yeah <laughs> and well speaking of that we actually have a cryotherapy too for, oh that's yeah. right gosh oh yeah 
So we do have cryotherapy now. I'm not sure if you saw that when you were uh, here. I don't course, think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that might not. And that is actually, I got to say, it's my favorite way to get that cold therapy because it's only three minutes mm -hmm. and your head is out of it our, for our machine and it's minus 212. And oh my gosh, I'd do it every day if I could. <laughs> wow. So, Just a complete reset for your body though. That's the thing. Just like. Yeah. We had a guy come here. Um, it was the when we reopened the first time after the uh, COVID closure, and he was here for three weeks, and he lost a lot of weight. He was very, very focused, and you know he did exactly the program. He was very strict on himself, and he did cryotherapy every single day as part of his program. And by the time he left, you could actually see, and this is not for everybody, but you could see his muscles really taking shape. It was, um, so again, he worked very hard and he was very strict on himself, but uh, he did it in a very healthy way with our help. And, uh, and then the cryo was part of it because it did, increases your metabolism as well as reduces yeah. inflammation. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking is that he, it's the metabolism boost, also his focus. So he was focused he was intentional and he wanted the transformation. So that's really what it's all about. And um, and I think that's that's the most, that's really the takeaway message that you provide so much of that opportunity for people who come on property and you help with that lending a hand. So yes. we'll talk a little bit about that. So, you know, we've got people that come to get, that come just as individuals, some that maybe come in super small groups or maybe it's just couples, but Maybe this is something, Katrina, that you can talk a little bit more about or, or some of the types of groups that you're seeing and, and what that experience looks like. Uh, yeah. Uh, first off, so we offer three, four, and seven night all-inclusive package plans. Uh, when we're hosting a group, it can be anywhere from six guests, which, co which constitutes a, a group at that point, all the way up to 64 guests. That would be our maximum in-house capacity, doubling up every room. Um, but we're seeing sizes probably, um, I would say roughly about... Yeah, 15 to 30 guests or so is probably our yeah. sweet spot. Um, we do, although, get a lot of buyouts um, for uh, the prop for the group. So we do have um, buyouts where you can have exclusive use of the property for you and your guests. And we would require a minimum of 28 guests on a three-night package plan uh, to be able to uh, do an exclusive buyout. Um, we're seeing. Um, a lot of people, of course, really ready to get back to socializing and getting back with their associates. Um, definitely, definitely a focus on wellness. They want to really customize the program so that they can uh, focus on the wellness aspect a little bit more. Um, we do a lot of executive retreats, you know, some of the top producers that they want to have a lot of incentive groups. Um, and to be quite honest, we get a lot of social groups, a lot of family retreats and uh, family gatherings that just want to come together and get away. So uh, that's currently what we're seeing mm -hmm. and I'm sure the booking demand is up so it's, it's it's not something that you can turn around and say hey we're going to come next week I mean you really got to plan these out well in advance to make sure that the dates are available I mean it's we're seeing a, a you know a minimum really three months but uh, when we plan most of our events it's um it's you know three to nine months at least for a planning yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, I will say, yeah, we have seen a lot of short term bookings, but we are so it is out of control how busy we are and how many weeks that we have sold out. It is just out of control. You really do see the demand. Um, but we're we're booking out as far out as a year, actually. Um, but I would yeah. say there are some shorter windows, but the, the year mark would be where you can definitely be able to pinpoint a date that you want. Um, um, but yes. Yeah, absolutely. And I say, you know, as we kind of you know, look at a look ahead, you know, if we look at the calendar. You know, as well, it seems that that venge tourism is really hitting hard where people are really trying to put something on the calendar now. And I think there's a little bit of shock value in that they they say, oh, I was expecting that there would be post COVID bargains and that there would be tons of availability. It's absolutely the opposite because True. the demand is up. The demand is, is definitely there. And I'm seeing that there are some of the wellness properties that there's really no availability until June of 2022 and right. beyond. Yeah. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so are there any other takeaways, you know, before we kind of wrap things up that, um, that maybe we haven't touched on that you think are some, just some of the really super special nuggets about Calavi and what people should know? I think that, you know, just understanding that if transformation and living a better life is what you're looking for, that's what we encourage and inspire here. We can teach you to totally change your lifestyle. And when you learn how to live a different lifestyle, like these techniques and different things become a part of your lifestyle, it's not a chore. 
it becomes a part of who you are. And it's truly beautiful. People have written us and, and just said, oh my gosh, you transformed my life. I have sat with someone who cried with me, it, tears of joy. And of course I cry back. Like it's, it's truly an experience that we care deeply about. And we just love that they're able to take that with them and hopefully continue it. And they come back. I was going to say, it's a sense of family. You know, we get a lot of guests that come and they'll continue to come back. We have, I think we're still at about a 70% return guest ratio, which mm -hmm. is amazing. And they become yeah. a part of our family. So it's really, really special. Well, honestly, ladies, this has been such an incredible joy for us. And I'm dying to get there again and to book a seven night. I've been talking with even a few of my girlfriends to say, hey, when can we put this on the calendar? We need to, we need to focus on this as well. And I just want to say, you know, for all of you who are out there who have joined us today, who are listening to this video and watching, we really want to help make a difference in the way that you approach vacationing, approach wellness, and approach your travel. And so we hope that you have learned something new today, learned about a new property if you haven't already been there, or if you've been thinking about it, that you will book at Calavi right here in Vista of sunny, sunny Southern California. And follow us all on Instagram. So we've got uh, Calavi Spa, Instagram at Calavi Spa. Follow us on Instagram at RethinkFit underscore travel. And with that, I'd like to say thanks. And we hope that everybody has a fantastic day. Thanks again Thank to Kira and to Katrina.